Bees are an integral part of agriculture necessary for crop pollination. In many agricultural systems, insecticides are commonly used to manage pests. But these chemicals can also have negative effects on beneficial insects. The alfalfa leafcutter bee is one of the most important crop pollinators used in alfalfa, canola, and other crops. This bee has some fascinating behaviors. Every female builds her own nests in above-ground hollows, like beetle burrows or paper straws. This is the nest of an alfalfa leafcutter bee. As you can see, it is composed of multiple cells made of leaves, where the mother lays a single egg and provisions it with nectar and pollen. These nests can tell us a lot about the bee's behavior, reproduction, and ability to pollinate our crops. For example, here we can see how much pollen and nectar the female has collected, which will determine the size and health of her offspring. And here we can see the size of the nest cap, which is important for protecting the nest from parasites and extreme temperatures. Bees can get exposed to insecticides as adults when foraging on flowers, or during their development when feeding on contaminated pollen and nectar. Many insecticides act by disrupting the brain activity of insects and can alter their behaviors, such as memory, orientation, and navigation, all of which are critical for building nests. This means that there is a high probability that alfalfa leafcutter bee nests will be impacted by these pesticides. Because nest building is such a critical component of this bee's life cycle, we want to know how it is affected by insecticide exposure. This is a novel study in that it will look at the effects of pesticides on individual bee behavior and how this scales up to effects on the population. Since numerous other solitary bees share similar nest building behaviors, our study will lay the groundwork to investigate this question in other important bees. We are a team of postdoctoral researchers with complementary expertise in ecology, physiology, and animal behavior. We will approach our research question by exposing bees to three treatments in the lab no pesticides low dose of pesticides, and high dose. We will release the bees in enclosed cages in an alfalfa field. After the bees build their nests in the field, we will collect the nests and dissect them individually, comparing size and structure of the nests among our treatments. While we have the expertise to conduct this project, we want to help train a new generation of scientists. By funding our project, you will allow us to pay for an undergraduate research assistant who will be integral for conducting this work and who will gain invaluable research experience. Thank you for your support.